mustached Americans are so sexually dynamic. I don't think that. You've been chosen to support the American Mustache Institute and H&R Block's efforts to pass the Stash Act legislation that would provide mustached Americans with a $250 tax deduction. Why is this so important? It's important because, quite honestly, mustached Americans deserve a break. It takes a lot of money to um, maintain them. The grooming, the clipping, the gelling, the shining, I don't know, pomade, that costs money. So I'm, they need that $250 for that. <laughs> you work for NBC where there are so few mustached Americans on the air. Does the network discriminate against people of mustached American heritage? I'm not sure it's a conscious discrimination, but I agree with you, they are definitely underrepresented on NBC shows, and hopefully one day that will change. So who from the office cast would best be suited to wear an upper lip garment? Um, I would say character-wise, Meredith, um, but in real life, probably um, BJ Novak. I think he could pull that off well. <laughs> So, Ellie, there's one person at NBC who leads a mustached American lifestyle, Nick Ackerman. Nick, Nick Ackerman plays Ron Swanson on Parks and Recreation. Do you ever see him in the hallways and think, hey, how about a little something-something? I do. It's the main reason I want to be on Parks and Rec instead. Do you ever look at Billy Dee Williams' photos and just cry out of sheer envy? I do. Not, I'm not envious of his mustache. I am envious. He got to be on General Hospital once. <laughs> Finally, why are vegetarians so worthless? Worthless seems like a strong word. They're different. And why are they so different? Because they don't eat meat. <laughs> That's my answer. <laughs>